Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Gaming TV for PS5. Starting at number 5. Roku 32 inch select. If you're looking for the best PS5 TV at the lowest price possible, consider the Roku Select series. It's a decent TV that's a small step down from the TCL Q5 slash Q550G QLED, as it can't do 120 Hz like that TV can. Its contrast is okay, especially for a TV at this price point, so it looks adequate in a dark room, even without local dimming. That's a good thing since the TV doesn't get bright enough in HDR for rooms with lots of lights, even with its decent reflection handling. It's bright enough for moderately lit rooms, though, especially when playing SDR titles since its SDR brightness is very good. A great feature of this TV is the sheer amount of models available, from a small 24-inch to a big 75-inch. Remember that the 24 and 32-inch models are limited to a 720p resolution, and the 40-inch model is limited to 1080p. The bigger sizes are 4K TVs. The Roku is light on features, it doesn't have VRR, is limited to a 60Hz refresh rate, and doesn't support 1440p resolution. Still, its spectacular input lag and great response time make it a good TV for gamers. However, like many other LED TVs, there's a noticeable black smear in shadow details due to the TV's slower dark state transitions, but you won't have any issues with slower and brighter titles. If you're a Costco member, you'll instead want to get the slightly better and more colorful Hisense A65K. Coming at number 4. LG B3 Series 55. The LG B3 OLED is the best 4K TV for PS5 in the mid-range category that we've tested. It's a truly splendid TV, with only a few drawbacks compared to the more expensive models. The TV has all the features of the more expensive LG C3 OLED, although the B3 is certainly dimmer. It still delivers outstanding picture quality, especially in a dark room, with its near-infinite contrast ratio delivering deep, inky blacks with no distracting blooming. Just make sure to dim the lights when gaming on this TV, as it's not bright enough in HDR to offer a truly immersive gaming experience in bright rooms. This TV is available in a narrower range of sizes compared to the more expensive LG C3, the B3 comes in 55, 65, and 77 inches. However, it's still great for gaming, with its two HDMI 2.1 ports offering up to 4K at 120Hz support, including Dolby Vision Gaming at 120Hz. If you have multiple HDMI 2.1 devices, you'll have to navigate around having only two HDMI 2.1 ports, but thankfully, HDMI 2.1 switches are now pretty cheap. It is compatible with every VRR technology, has a fantastic response time, and has an extremely low input lag in game mode. And like other OLEDs, its viewing angle is truly fantastic, making it a great TV for large gaming parties. Overall, this TV is a great entry point into the OLED market. At number 3. LG C3 Series 42. If you want an OLED that is not only a great gaming TV for the PS5 but can also be an excellent home theater TV, consider the upper mid-range LG C3 OLED. It's a premium TV that delivers stunning picture quality. Thanks to its near-infinite contrast ratio, there's no blooming around bright objects, and it has dark, inky blacks. It truly looks fantastic in dark rooms when gaming. That said, while it gets bright enough to fight glare even in moderately lit rooms and has incredible reflection handling, it doesn't use quantum dot technology. This means that colors aren't as bright as on the Samsung S90C OLED. The LG partly makes up for it by being more versatile, as it has better image processing, Dolby Vision HDR support, and can pass through advanced DTS audio formats. It also supports full 120Hz Dolby Vision, which is great to have even though Dolby Vision support is still rare on the PS5. Of course, it still delivers incredible gaming performance with a nearly instantaneous response time, resulting in crystal clear motion with no distracting blur behind fast-moving objects. It's also packed with gaming features, including full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth support on all four inputs, 
meaning you can take full advantage of your PS5 while having a bunch of other HDMI 2.1 devices connected. If you love this TV but would like it to be a bit more vibrant, consider the more expensive LG G3 OLED. The G3 is one of the brightest OLEDs on the market and is certainly brighter than the C3, but the price difference isn't worth it for most people. Number 2 of my list Sony 65-inch Mini The Sony X93L slash X93CL is the best TV for PlayStation 5 we've tested if you prefer to game in a bright room. It features a mini LED backlight, which allows it to get extremely bright, and, combined with its decent local dimming feature, HDR content stands out incredibly well. It looks amazing in a dark room, although not as much as the Samsung S90C OLED, as there's more noticeable blooming around bright objects, and blacks aren't as deep. However, it's still an excellent TV with a great selection of features, so there's something for everyone. It has a 120Hz panel with HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on two of its HDMI ports, meaning you can play 4K games up to 120 frames per second on the PS5. It has HDMI Forum VRR support, which works well with the console. Games feel quick and responsive thanks to the fast response time, extremely low input lag, and excellent motion handling. As a Sony TV, it's part of Sony's Perfect for PS5 lineup, which includes a few Sony exclusive features designed for PS5 gamers, like Auto HDR Tone Mapping, which automatically optimizes the HDR settings for your TV. The Sony X95L is a step up from this TV and is the best LED TV we've ever tested, but it's only available in an 85-inch size in North America. You can get the X95L in 65 and 75-inch sizes in other regions, but its price premium over the X93L isn't worth it for most people. And number 1. Samsung 55-inch. The best TV for PS5 that we've tested is the Samsung S90C OLED. It's a fantastic TV that delivers an incredible gaming experience. Fast-paced action games look outstanding thanks to the nearly instantaneous response time, so there's almost no noticeable blur or ghosting behind fast-moving objects. Its input lag is extremely low, which makes for extremely responsive gaming. It's bright and colorful in HDR and SDR, so your games look great, especially in a dark room. Due to its HDMI 2.1 bandwidth ports, the TV can take full advantage of everything the PS5 offers, including 4K at 120Hz gaming in games that support it. And if you're also a PC gamer, the Samsung can reach 4K at 144Hz on all its HDMI ports. If you'd like an OLED TV that is part of Sony's Perfect for PS5 lineup, which includes a few Sony exclusive features designed for PS5 gamers, look up the more expensive Sony A95L OLED. It has auto HDR tone mapping, which automatically optimizes the HDR settings for your TV, ensuring you get the best HDR experience possible without manually adjusting the settings. However, it has worse input lag than the Samsung model, so gaming isn't as responsive, and the TV is much more expensive. You could also opt for the higher-end Samsung S95C OLED, which is brighter than the S90C, but its price premium is not worth it for most people. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.